Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning. I hope your Sunday, your Easter was beautiful. Mine was wonderful. It was almost 80 degrees here. And I gotta tell you, you know, <laughs> I had to turn a fan on. It was so beautiful. I mean, I'm going to turn my mother-in-law's ceiling fan on just to move some air. I'm like, <laughs> why am I not home painting? Why am I not home spray painting something? Because I even I need a day off, right? So I took a day off, spent the entire day seeing family, and I saw a friend of mine, and it was worth every second that I lost in this shop that day. I'm just going to say that right now. It was worth every, every, every second. Oh, I can't get my clamp to clamp on anything here. I got a clamp. Here we go. But now I'm back in the workshop. Shop. <laughs> Work in the shop. And I got a lot to do before picket this week. So tomorrow, which is the day you'll actually be watching this. So Tuesday, I do the live tour for Picket Fence Gals on their Facebook page. So hey, it's seven o'clock central. Head over there. Watch me do a live tour. You won't actually see me. You'll just see the stuff. Um, so I'll be there doing all the live tour things and weird stuff happens. So that's always fun. Last month, like right as I'm getting to the last part of the tour, I, I'm filming in landscape and everything flipped this way. Even though I'm still holding the camera this way. And I was like, I can't, uh, are you guys seeing like everything look okay? And they're all like, everything looks perfect. Everything looks beautiful. And I, at one point I could see the ceiling. I had no idea what they were seeing when I was filming. And I'm going, oh, uh, I, 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 there's some pretty stuff over here. <laughs> so look at the ceiling is what I can see. So I had no idea what they were looking at. So I couldn't really talk about what they were seeing. It was a frustrating experience. A little bit, a little bit frustrating. <sighs> so this month, I'm hoping there's no technical difficulties. One month I got attacked by a cat. Uh, I went outside. So I was going from the small building to the main building and I walked outside and this very friendly cat was like meow and I'm like oh hi kitty you know and I start walking away from him and he attacked me <laughs> and then he he like ricocheted off me and took down a bunch of stuff in the yard so things were crashing and I was mauled by a cat you never know what's gonna happen on that tour it is live after all I'm waiting for the day that some total stranger wanders in the building. That's only happened to me once before. I was uh, setting up my booth and one of the other gals had left and locked the door. And this man, I hear, hello, hello. And I'm like, I'm the only person in this big building by myself. And there's some strange man in the building. So I'm at the top of the stairs like, <laughs> holding something sharp, you know, <laughs> hello. <laughs> and he goes, are you open? And I said, no, <laughs> he left. I, I made sure we were on hard lockdown after that. That was a creepy day. Oh man. I'm like some meth head goes wandering through the building. These ladies have to remember to lock the doors. They always forget like if they use the front door. I gone there and check the doors and the front doors unlocked and I'm like really really if you use that door make sure it's locked before you leave because then everybody's stuff could be just stolen anywho hoo, hoo. I'm gonna stencil today I've got some stenciling to do on uh, that blue board that I did in the last video so this blue free spirit. I've got the stencil on it now. My husband laid that out for me because he does really great free handing stencils. And I've got the chicken one. Here's the chicken one. 
I'll have to locate the chicken one and get that one stuck on there myself because it should take up the entire canvas that I painted for it. But I'm gonna get my crap together and then we're gonna get started. Tell my chicken. I'm gonna do farm fresh eggs on that one. So I'm gonna stencil this and then another sign. That's the plan. <laughs> one of them will be my project for the day. I'm on day 94. So close to being done, you guys. Very exciting. It, it's like it's not even registering anymore, though it's just now what I do. It's a habit. It's now just part of my life. Pretty boring day. Here's the other one that I'm doing. It says she is clothed in strength and dignity. And then I'm doing the farm fresh X, but I need these walls. And then my husband put it on and get pencil mark all over my paint. I didn't want white borders, but I'm going to have to do a white border. I think because he did such a lovely job making sure there was pencil marks all the way around my freaking. And I, it's chalk paint. It's not gonna come off. It's not gonna come off. It's chalk paint. I can't wash that off. I have to paint over it. And I didn't want to. So I think I'm gonna try and roll this one. I'm gonna use a foam roller that's not quite loaded with paint, so just very lightly covered, and then try and roll over this as a stencil. <laughs> Wish me luck! So that actually appears to have worked. We'll see when I pull it off. Um, but as long as I keep it fairly dry, it seems that I can roll it. So we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so we got up to like 84 degrees, record breaking high today, 84 degrees. And I uh, decided to clean my daughter's room. <laughs> Actually, I made a deal with her that if she cleaned the living room, family room, like she cleaned the kitchen, I'd clean her bedroom. So I did. She cleaned both and I cleaned them. I cleaned her bedroom. She hates cleaning her bedroom and I hate cleaning everything else. So we traded. I'm going to take the signs that I painted today outside for some clear coat. I think I have just enough clear coat to get these covered up, but I don't want to roll clear on them because this is going to be cat hair city. <laughs> I've been fighting it all winter. So it's nice to be able to go outside, lay them out and just spray them real quick. So that's the plan, Stan. Buy another clear. Right. There's more clear. I knew I had a full thing of clear. Yeah, let's get our signs done. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.